Hi, welcome to another video. Most of you who work on either your own project or even in a corporate setting will mostly use something to note down things you want to do. Something like Linear or Trello or Notion or whatever. But have you ever thought that if you're using AI in everything, then why aren't you using it for your project management? Well, that's what I have today, and it's called Dart. Dart is a project management app, and it's AI-powered. You can generate whole project requirements and planning from a basic prompt. You can perform duplication detection if a task is already existing. You can generate subtasks, and you can even assign tasks to AI itself, and it can accomplish that task, which is really amazing. It is fully free as well for a team of up to four members. But you can also check the $8 plan or $12 plan for even more features. Now, let me just show you all the things that it can do in action. First of all, just get yourself signed up and you'll see this interface. You have the Home tab, where you'll see all the tasks assigned to you, upcoming tasks, and stuff like that. It's like a dashboard. While in My Tasks, you'll see a list of tasks that you can then open, check, or change the status of, and stuff like that. You also have some intelligence reports here, which you can configure to be made every week based on what's happening, how everyone is performing, and stuff like that. Then we have the main sauce, which is spaces. So, here you can see the spaces you have created, or you can also create one by clicking the Add option. You can create spaces for different categories of tasks, like marketing or technical, or maybe a different sector, or whatever you want. You can also enable sprints, or if you don't like that, then you can keep it as is. I don't like sprints, so this will be off. You can also configure stand-up and change log reports, which you can set to any interval you want, and it will all be automated with AI, and you'll just get the report on time. You can either share the space with the whole workspace or just invite specific team members. Once that's created, we can make multiple dartboards in that space for different purposes, like future tasks, or we can also create a docs folder for storing documents or notes in it. Now, once we have it set up, let's create a new task here. Now, we can just put in a task like, I want to create a tutorial about RLHF and recent AI models that gained better performance from it. So, if I just type it in here, then we have the option of Tasks AI. In it, I can ask it to fill out properties, break it into subtasks, improve the description, or even make the AI do the task itself. Let's just hit the Fill Out Properties option. Once we do that, you'll see that it will take a second and it will automatically assign a priority and due date to it. Now, if we go here and try to break this into subtasks, you'll see that it will take a bit, and then it will break the task down into subtasks for better navigation. You can also choose Improve Description, which will update the description accordingly or enhance the already existing one. You can also use slash commands in the description to generate descriptions, brainstorm, or much more. Now let's say that I want to be lazy and I don't want to do this task. So, what I can do is simply assign the task to Dart AI. And if I save the task, then what will happen is that, in the background, Dart will start doing the task. Let me just change this to the board style, similar to Trello, and then we have the task here. If I click this and scroll a bit, then you'll see that here in Activity, Dart AI has started working, and now it has created a document. If I click this, then it will open up the document that it has created, and it looks pretty good just as we like. It's quite amazing. It's almost like how you can assign tasks to Devon in GitHub issues, and it just does them. But it's for project management instead, and can do quite good research. 
Let's add another task here. Let's ask it to generate a blog post about how AI agents can be the future. Let's just assign it to Dart. Once we do that, you'll see that Dart AI starts working on it and gets into the Doing tab. And if we wait a bit, then it's also done. And we can have a look at it, which looks quite good. So, that's great. You can also just hit the Project AI button here, and it will give you the option to brainstorm tasks, which means that you can just tell it what you want to achieve on a high level, and then it can create smaller tasks for you to get to that big goal, which is actually quite good as well. We can also generate reports with it. What this report will do is look at everything and then generate a report about what is done, what is not done, and stuff like that, which is great as well. You can also view the tasks in a number of views, like the waterfall view and more. One more thing that I like, and is a major feature, at least in my workflow, is the integrations. If we go to the settings and scroll down, then you'll see these options. You can integrate ChatGPT with Dart AI as well, which means that you can, like, chat with ChatGPT and ask it to mark the task in Dart AI as complete without leaving ChatGPT. You can also integrate Notion and Slack, as well as Discord, for instant update messages. One of the major ones that I like is the GitHub integration, which allows you to link GitHub issues and PRs with Dart tasks and you can set a task to automatically update when a PR is merged or anything like that. There are also some others, including email options. They even have their own API and Python library, which allows you to integrate it into your programs and create your own workflows and everything like that. You can set up webhooks, which means that you can have a server that listens to requests from Dart, and then automate processes accordingly. It is literally one of the best AI project management tools that I have seen because it's built from the ground up with AI features in mind, and you should really give it a try for your tasks since it's free with great features. For even better features, you can take their subscription, which is insanely cheap. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.